Can I ask you a question? Yes. Having just met me today. Yes. Um, yes, you love your cats. Yes, 100% I can tell you love your cats. Is it? Is it is if it people weird? are wondering it, and, and tweeting at us, does she love her cats? Yes. Is it weird yet? <laughs> um, hey guys, this week on a very exciting Tuesday, I am joined by the incredible Rob Hubel. Thank you for having me. Yay, thank you for being here. Right off the bat, people are wondering, Hannah, how the hell did you get this guy on your channel? So, let's just be frank. Rob, will you tell us a little bit about your show? Oh, I should plug my show? Plug it now. So nice. <laughs> um, I have a new show on YouTube Red. It's called, Do You Want to See a Dead Body? You betcha! I think that explains everything you need to know. If you don't want to see a dead body, don't go and watch this show. It's a comedy show. I take famous people to go see a dead body with me. It's really fucked up, are they but hilarious. Are they real bodies? No. Oh. No. But we pretend that they're real. Okay. <laughs> Acting. Yes. Oh. It's a scripted comedy show. Yeah. It's more just like a creepy way of hanging out with someone. It's like, like do you want to go see a dead body? Like, There's something under this bridge over here. Yes, exactly. You gotta see it to believe it. You gotta see it to believe it. You gotta it. see it to believe it. Speaking of dead bodies... That was a weird transition. You know what? Not my best segue. Now, Rob, do you know what Toons Day is all about? I do, and I will say I'm not gonna be great at this, but I will be great at this. Yeah! So, Rob, you're going numero uno. Oh, this is making me nervous. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not nervous, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yes and. I'm nervous for you. But you're gonna be an expert at this. Mm hmm. We'll see about that. Wouldn't that be great if I set up a thing where I just look good every time? Yes, that would be a really smart move. <laughs> Our first question comes from Jojo. They ask, Rob, how to get over a completely hopeless crush? People always ask me, how do I get over a crush that I'm hopeless about? And I tell them that it's super easy, just don't gush. <gasps> about your crush. Oh my god! What you need to know is that there's plenty of fish in the sea. Don't you see? Look at all the fish in the sea. <laughs> Go get a new fish. Forget your crush. That was terrible. That was really good. That was terrible, but Nuggets not bad advice. Not bad advice. I think that there were some real nuggets of wisdom there. You know, if you have a completely hopeless crush. Well, here's the thing. If it's hopeless, first of all, nothing's hopeless. Second of all, if, if, if you're not getting anything back from that person, you, I think you just gotta move on. Yeah, I mean, if you already recognize that you have a hopeless crush, then just let it go, and you know? also, they don't deserve you. Mm -mm. If they're not into it, move on. There are so many other people out there that are just waiting to be found. Yeah. There's someone for you. Oh, gosh. I mean, really great, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, next one. At Snow Clark asks, what is one thing that makes you happy? Just one. Oh. Ooh, so many things make me happy. I feel happiest when I'm not my snappiest. I like to wake up on the right side of the bed. So something that makes me happy is when you just let me sleep. I don't want to wake up until I wake up. So if you have to get up early, please just get up early and go out and let me sleep. Oh, I just love to sleep. Is that dark? That was amazing. <laughs> okay, listen, here's the thing. I just, you know, I wake up and I can be really grumpy sometimes. Me too. I wake up and I'm just instantly in a bad mood and I, I wish I could figure out why? It's like I was in the middle of an argument in a dream, and if somebody wakes me up, it's like, hey, and I'm like, God! Yeah. And I'm like, crazy? Don't and the whole day is ruined because you're still in that mindset. My girlfriend's gonna actually kill me because this is something that we're trying to work on we're right getting now. Getting into she's it. She's gonna we're kill me. Into I it. just get grumpy and it's not fair to her. But she's like, hey, good morning. I'm like, fuck you. What do you mean, good morning? Ah! Can't you see my eyes are closed? Yeah. That's not right. What am I gonna do? You have kids. You have a kid. I do. I have a baby and uh, she's <laughs> one year old and so I'm not getting much sleep. I have not had sleep in about a year since ah. this baby was born. And I love you to death. You're great, but please go to sleep. Please <laughs> go to sleep. Yeah, it's really hard because um, I waited till I'm this old. I'm very old to have a baby. 
And so I'm used to doing my thing and sleeping and now I'm not sleeping. And so I am a maniac. Um, and this one I'm gonna be wearing glasses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah please do. But I do need to get glasses. Yeah, put them on. Oh, you look good. Really good. Nick Robes asks, how often do you try to, and I'm hoping you understand what this question's asking. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. How often do you try to commit to the bit and the other party just refuses to pick up on it? Is there a way to gracefully dismount? Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Are you ready? Uh, so, this, oopsies, let me just start over. And here we go, Rob. Can I swear? Yeah, fuck yeah. All right. All right, ready? And boom. Commit. Commit. People always ask me, do I commit to the bit? Don't be a shit. Just commit. You f***ing dick. <laughs> to the bit. Don't be a shit. How often do I commit to the bit? 100% to the bit. Never bail on the bit, you little twit. You must commit to the bit. Don't give a shit about the shits yeah. that say don't commit to the bit. That was pretty. That was pretty bad. That was, that was pretty pre badass. No. I mean, in improv, like the song that I did is specific to improv and comedy, which is about committing. Like, cause you don't want to. Um, you don't want to start an improv scene and then bail on it. You know, like if we're like driving a car and you're driving, and then all of a sudden I go, we're not driving a car, we're doctors. And then you're confused. It's like, no, you don't want to do that. And Doctor, it, I've been driving a car <laughs> for 70 right. years. That's impossible. Doctors don't drive. <laughs> they take limos. So maybe it is specific to improv. In that case, go by the lyrics of my song. 100% commit to the bit. Don't be a shit. Whatever else I said, it was all comedy gold. Uh, it was terrible. And just commit to it. But commit to it, yes. In that instance, yes, 100% commit. But if you're hanging out with your friends and you're doing like, hey, let's do a funny bit and let's uh, let's let's push this, let's pick this car over and, and roll this car over, that's not funny. Like now you're vandalizing, <laughs> you know. Okay, next question. At Acoustic Chrissy asks, how does an introvert survive in an extroverted world? Whoa. This is. A very great question. This is a doozy. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Okay. Shaking for inspiration. When you're introverted, the world seems really big. Makes you feel like you aren't maybe that big. So what you do is you just gotta fake it all the time. I'm a really short person, but not in my mind. Just give yourself a little tiny lie that you say every day and hey you'll get by this is not a good message necessarily for you but maybe there's someone out there who will benefit too introverts you get it that's a hard song that's a hard that's, that's a, a hard song that's a hard song man. and also hard a question a hard question, a deep question. Deep question. What do you, do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Um, I think I'm an extrovert, but here's what I would say. This is my theory on this. If this makes you feel better, Acoustic Christie, uh, I agree that it's not necessarily an extroverted world. It just seems like that to an introvert. Mm. Uh, the world, I think, is neither good nor bad. It is what we make it, I think. But uh, as an extrovert, I will tell you that a lot of it is bullshit. <laughs> you know, a lot of it is just like you do it because you get uh, acceptance or uh, laughs from people, but really we're all kind of introverts. Yeah. So you just, you'll find your level of, uh, of extroversion, mm -hmm. is that a word? Extroversion, yeah. yeah. You'll, find, you'll find a level of that. And until you do, just find people that you click with. Yes, yes. It's almost like reframe the question, not how does an introvert survive in an extroverted world? More like, how do I take care of my introverted self in a world, in, the, in this world? You know? my, my mom used to always tell me, I, I, and she, I don't know why she told me this, I think she thought I was an introvert. She would say, still waters run deep, mm. which I thought was so good. It's just like, you know, if you're a quiet person, that means because you're like thinking, thinking and, and you're feeling. processing and you're feeling, yeah. Yeah, validate yourself, man. This is your last one. 
Okay. Oh my goodness. This right. is it. This is the end. Here I go. Here you I feel go. good? You feeling feel yeah, good? I'm gonna put on your glasses. Okay, put them back on. I think you look great. I look like a murderer. Beep 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 beep. Okay, I have a okay, this one's good. Michelle Wallace asks, how do you move on from losing a friend? Ooh. Like a friend breakup? Yeah, well that doesn't mean someone died, right? No, no, let's not go to the death row. Okay. You got death covered. <laughs> you betcha! So you lost your friend, she was your friend, and now you miss her. But guess what? She was more than just a friend. Now what you must do is don't poo poo, but leave on a choo choo to a new situation where you take care of you. That was not my best. <laughs> I would just like to say. I am really bad at singing. No! Oh, it's okay. I know that that's not one of my gifts. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a couple instances here where the advice you give is. Uh... <laughs> Move on, <laughs> get out of town. <laughs> There are too many great people out there that that are dying you. to meet you. Yeah. So I get <laughs> don't fixate. That's, that's a recurring theme, I guess, in my great great songs. <laughs> that yeah, don't don't hold on to the past. There, I'm a big fan of moving on. If someone doesn't love you, they don't deserve you, and they weren't going to love you. That doesn't mean that they're a bad person, or, or that you're unlovable, or that you're unlovable. It just means that like. You are so special, why waste your f***ing time on them? Yeah. Yes, yes, I totally agree. But, what a terrible singer I am. No! I mean, really, really bad. Don't, the more you say no, it makes me think that you are a liar. <laughs> you know why you're not a terrible singer? Because you're singing at all. Isn't that sweet? Song. Isn't that sweet? At Miss Mass asks, How do you get your work done when you have a dog slash cat on your lap? Here we go. You got a dog or cat, ba boom. And they really love to sit on your lap. But you got lots of work to do, and they don't want to be working with you. So just, oh my god, leave. That's my advice. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. <laughs> just leave. If there's someone that doesn't love you, leave them. If there's a dog or cat on your lap but you got work to do, just leave. I mean, that's what I do. Like, I leave, I, look, I, if I'm at home and I have to edit or I have to answer emails, both of which I have to do, I can't do it sometimes if my cat's being too adorable and loving. Boo hoo. So I, I walk to a cafe and I work from there, so <laughs> today's message is give yourself some space, man. Give yourself some space. Yourself? That was the I can't believe it. it was like I was sitting there, I was like, so what I do? Get it the f*** out of town. <laughs> Rob, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Hannah. It was so fun. Guys, if you liked watching this, please click like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of Rob, be sure to check out his new show on YouTube Red called... Do You Want to See a Dead Body? We'll let you answer that in the comments below. Okay guys, have a great day. Ring-a-ding-da-ding-ding. -ding.